Hey there, Deadheads. Gerhard here again. We're going to take a look at another record today. That is Fillmore West, March 1st, 1969. We're going to open up the box. We can talk about why this record's so great. Uh, but first, it's a beautiful, snowy day here in Brooklyn. Perfect day for listening to records, talking about records. Uh, and so here we are. Um, I'm sure many of you guys picked up the Fillmore West uh, March 1st box, the uh, Rhino Start Your Ear Off Right 2022 release. Um, this is the, the kind of third release um, where they've pulled apart that 2005 10 CD box set of the uh, four night Fillmore West run um, that they did. I think that was a 10,000 copy uh, box set going for crazy money on Discogs and eBay. That's why we love to see it coming out Again, this time on vinyl, you know, they say that they're not going to re-release those um, CD box sets. And over the years, there's been so many of those great CD box sets. The, uh, you know, Spring 1990 box set, of course, the uh, May 77 box set. I think it was June 76 box set. And all of those, you know, they do those limited edition box sets of CDs. And they say, oh, we're never going to do another run of these. So you have to buy it now. And then it goes for crazy money on eBay. And so we love to see these come out on uh, on vinyl. Uh, before we get into this box, though, I want to kind of set the scene, set the stage a little bit. Uh, we all know and love Live Dead. Live Dead. Um, and that was, you know, famously that uh, rock and roll's first 16-track live recording um, split between this Fillmore West run, and then uh, I think One Night at the Avalon Ballroom uh, comprise the tracks on this double LP um, album. Uh, just a classic, should be in everyone's collection. You know, this and, and Skull and Roses, which they made a bigger deal out of uh, celebrating the 50th anniversary, are just, you know, it's classic textbook dead. Um, it's, you know, some of the best years, some of the best live uh, recordings, and you know, old heads, young heads, everyone uh, should know and love them. Uh, and then we go back in our time machine a little bit. We've got our February 27th uh, four record set uh, with that last side being etched. Uh, and that was Record Store Day a few years ago. I think maybe 2018 Record Store Day release. And then we have the night after that, another four record box set, which is our February 28th uh, box set. Uh, one thing you will notice um, on all of my boxes, um, if I can hold it up to the camera, we've got a little bit of seam splitting. That just happens uh, on all of these boxes. Uh, I think they, I've, I've gotten them from the Postal Service uh, with seam splits, and this one is okay on this side, but if we give her a spin around, she's got a rough corner. Um, you know what? We listen to our records. We open the boxes all the time. Uh, we love our records. Um, if I wanted to just put it on a shelf and stare at it, could do that. But then what's the point? You can't hear it. You gotta listen to the music play. Um, so as we open it up, um, you know, I want to show you what's inside the box. Uh, we've got those wonderful liner notes. Uh, one first Saturday night, and so that was the first Saturday night of this run, the third night in this run. Um, got, you know, setting the scene, Michael Parrish. Uh, gave us a little scene report. I, I believe it's a essay about his first Grateful Dead concert. And then uh, Jesse Jarno. Love Jesse Jarno. He's done essays for all of these boxes. Um, and wonderful essay uh, in this, setting the stage, really uh, celebrating the Dark Star on this. Now, this is not the Dark Star that went into Live Dead, but it's a killer Dark Star. It's really good. And... You've got, you know, St. Stephen, the 11, Turn On Your Love Light. You've got a lot of the great stuff that went on to Live Dead, uh, but alternate versions, different versions. Um, some of them better versions, perhaps. I think some of them are. Um, and then a real standout here. You've got Pigpen doing Hey Jude. Um, such a great version. Um, what makes this so great is that it kind of starts off with Pigpen kind of pulling them all in you know it's it doesn't sound like uh most of the guys really feel like playing hey jude at the end of this uh saturday night set uh but by the end of it you know they they really uh chime in they pick it up they get in they get involved and uh it really builds to this wonderful uh hey jude and then i want to do i also want to point out um as bill graham introduces them in this 
uh, the American version of the Japanese film Magnificent Seven. There's seven Grateful Dead members in this because uh, we got TC, Tom Constantin, playing keyboards. Um, and so he's uh, back in pig pen up a little bit. So you get some more robust keys. And this is across this whole run, seven man Grateful Dead. Um, and once we put this aside, um, I just want to give you a look at um, how, you know, how this is packaged, how it's put together. It's the same kind of sleeves, these black sleeves, um, as the uh, other two box sets. Pretty standard stuff. With the label. Pull that label, get focus. Um, so nothing, nothing too out of the ordinary there. And then as I close it up, I do want to just pull the back. So we've got the rear. Um, beautiful box set. Love it. I would say probably tied with that first night, February 27th. Um, this one's only a three record box set, so it's a little bit shorter. It's a lot more available right now, uh, but tied with that February 27th for uh, best nights in this run. And I haven't listened back to the March 2nd, uh, which is the only remaining night from, you know, came out on CD uh, back in 2005, hasn't come out on vinyl yet. It seems inevitable at this point. Uh, they've done three of the four nights uh, from this box set. And I think this is one of the most requested box sets uh, for getting back, you know, back into print, getting, you know, can we get a digital release? Can we get this on Apple Music? Can we get this on Spotify? Uh, people want to hear this release because it's, it's just so damn good. Um, obviously, I think uh, Grateful Dead Productions, um, the Dead.net team, probably dragging their feet. Rhino probably dragging their feet because they said, you know, we're only doing 10,000. And so uh, this is their way of releasing it again uh, without kind of going back on their word that it was, uh, such a limited release. Um, kind of looking forward to what kind of precedent that sets. Um, you know, we've seen from the, the May 77 box set, um, you know, Cornell 77 and Buffalo, uh, have both come out as box sets. There's two more shows that they can put out as box sets. Um, Rhino, you know, sees this opportunity. Vinyl's hot right now. Uh, they really can cash in, sell a lot. Uh, and I think a lot of collectors want that. Um, there's, a lot of great stuff that was put out in those CD box sets um, 10 plus years ago that people want to get their hands on. And so these um, vinyl box sets really are that big opportunity. Um, now, if I'm thinking about which box sets I do want to see uh, releases from, would love to see more from that uh, spring 1990 box set. Um, would love to see the rest of the May 77 box set. Uh, really would love to see a lot more of those come out. Um, and so that is it for our, our Fillmore West box. Uh, thank you guys for joining me once again. Um, I've got a few more releases kind of in the hopper coming out. I, I think I want to spend the next video talking about bootlegs. And so I've got a, a bootleg that I picked up recently that, um, we can kind of use as our, our musing and meditation on bootlegs. And so, uh, look forward to that within the next week or two. And then of course we've got Bobby Weir and the Wolf Brothers, uh, coming up, think it's coming out Friday. Um, it's, it's shipping out Friday. And so we'll be uh, opening that one up and, and talking about some Bobby Weir and the Wolf Brothers. So super excited about that one. Um, so thank you so much for joining me. Uh, appreciate it and um, have a wonderful week.